I'm Don Carr and this is the Mesa Engineering Throttle Box. The Throttle Box is Mesa's high gain pedal and Mesa certainly knows about high gain. I mean, they're the company that brought you the uh, rectifier series of amplifiers, so we know what that sounds like. So let's dig in and check this thing out. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of a uh, standard size box, but there's a lot of flexibility in it. You know, you've got the uh, level control here, which can give you up to 20 dB of boost if you need it. That's just slightly over unity gain. Unity gain is really about 12 o'clock, but I like it pushing the amp just a little bit harder. And uh, here's your gain control. Again, I got it set at 12 o'clock, so you've got a lot of flexibility either direction there. But you've got a high-low switch, which is higher gain or lower gain. Right now, I'm in the high gain setting. And if you switch down to lower gain, you know, again, you're going to get a different voice. Uh, this is a mid-cut control, which works kind of the opposite of the way you'd think. As you turn it up, it cuts the mids more. So essentially what you're doing is you're taking, think of the Mesa Boogie 5-band graphic EQ, and you're taking that and kind of doing this. You're kind of dipping the mids and raising the highs and lows a little bit. Uh, the nice thing about the way they've got this uh, voiced is that as you turn it up and cut the mids, it doesn't actually cut the volume. So, uh, you know, it just changes the EQ curve, which is great. And tone is more like a high-end kind of thing. It's like rolls off the highs or brings in more highs. We've got a status indicator light, a true bypass in and out, and a 9 volt out. And that's it, man. That's the, uh, that's the box. That's the controls. Now let's give it a listen. Today I'm playing a PRS 513 through a Fender Princeton reverb amp and... Let's bypass the throttle box and listen to the clean tone. Cool. And here's the throttle box engaged. Really thick, really massive, and just a ton of gain, and a bunch of low end actually, just uh, really fattens up the sound a lot. Internally, there's a switch that will allow you to back some of that low end off, and a little bit of gain as well, if you just want it for more of a balanced, flatter kind of sound, but man, with this kind of tone, that boosted low end is really nice, and so it comes from the factory actually with the switch engaged, and that's the way I'm playing it right now. Okay, let's twist some knobs. First of all, so the switch into low gain, listen to that. And you can also see that the uh, indicator light turns to green to let you know you're on the low gain side. Pretty cool. Low gain side gives you a little, uh, a little more attack. It's a little chunkier, uh, not quite as much sustain. So for, you know, for a, a rhythm part would probably be more suited. Something, you know, especially something quick like a... You can hear there's a lot more articulation. So let me turn the gain control down here. We'll start there and work our way up. Remember, that's on the low gain side, too. So here, now we'll start with the tone control. Give that a listen. And finally, the mid cut. So again, as a quick reminder, that's kind of actually backwards. That's less mids. And this is more like a flat EQ. Switching over to the high gain side, things definitely get a little hairy over here. Check it out.
And for the classic scooped mid-tone, put a little more top end on it. There we go. <laughs> And there you have it, the Mesa Engineering Throttle Box. Very cool. If you have any questions about this or any other Mesa Engineering product, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks.